To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the minds to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. <laughs> oh, I'll murder them tonight. I'll fracture. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, and first in television, presents the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show. For your enjoyment, here is the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, transcribed, written by Ed James and Lou Derman, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, John Hubbard, Janine Bruce, and Whitfield, Walter Sharp and his music, and yours truly, Bill Foreman. The title of tonight's little clam bake is The Barbells of Scotland, or Who Put the Muscle in Mr. Harris's Bustle? <laughs> Now the stars of the RCA Victor program, Alice Faye and Phil Harris. There's a place for everything, and everything has its place. That's what I always say. What do you always say? Anyway, tonight, as we look in on the Harrises, Phil and Alice are busy trying to find a spot in the living room for their new seat. The love seat, that is. <laughs> Uh, you're my everything underneath the sun. You're my everything all rolled into one. Phil, uh, put down that mirror and help me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, honey. You just say the word and these sinews of steel will snap into action. These brawny shoulders will strain to accomplish the impossible. Harris, the living mule train, will... <laughs> Never mind, Philip. Step aside and I'll push the love seat. Oh, thank you, Willie. Thanks. Where do you want it, Alice? Well, uh... Uh, over near the fireplace, I think. Willie, mm. over near the fireplace. All right. <laughs> there. How does that look? Well, I don't know. Uh, somehow a love seat doesn't look right in front of a fireplace. Hey, put straps on it and it'll make a good hot seat. Badly <laughs> <laughs> hot. Willie, do you think it would look better if. What are we... you asking him for? Do you think of it? He don't even know what a love seat is. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Ask me, ask me. I'm an expert on all that furniture stuff. Hoopendale, chicken scoop, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Nutty pine, palomino mahogany. <laughs> Wormwood? Yeah. <laughs> Ask me anything. Well, how would you like the love seat in front of those two bay windows, huh? I wouldn't. And why not pray? Because pray, it's none of the neighbor's business, pray. <laughs> what my love seat is doing, pray. <laughs> That's why not pray. De long pray. <laughs> All right, Willie, put it back where it was. <laughs> Again. <laughs> There. Oh, Alice, I'm exhausted. You're exhausted? Did you ever try lugging them cushions around? Ah, <laughs> oh, Philip, let's face it. You're too old to indulge in activity of a physical nature. Oh, I am. I am. For your information, even a diesel engine puffs a little when it's getting up steam. <laughs> I know. But in your case, it isn't steam. Merely hot air. Oh, oh now look, Willie. You owe Phil an apology. Come on, come on, apologize. Oh. Well, I apologize, Philip. That's more like it. I really should have more respect for old age. <laughs> old age? Look, Willie, when you're wearing a toupee, they'll still be using my hair as a model for Shirley Temple dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Nerve of that guy. Me getting old. I'm as strong as I... Oh, Alice, do I look like I'm softening up? Uh, maybe we'd better leave the love seat where it is, Phil. I don't want you to strain yourself. I'm not straining myself. And stop making me out like an old man. I... Uh, come in. Hi, Alice. Hello, Elliot. Hiya, Dad. <laughs> All right, don't go calling me Dad. Ain't much call around for banjos, Clyde. <laughs> Why 
white and hip today, Alice. Oh, you know Phil. He and Willie are at it again. Oh. Curly, you shouldn't let Willie aggravate your high blood pressure like that. You don't aggravate my... Who's got high blood pressure? Oh, I, I didn't mean that, Curly. I just meant getting excited ain't the best thing for hardened arteries. That's all. Well, I know it ain't, but... <laughs> Elliot, who's got hardened arteries? Oh, an old uncle of mine. He's only 44 and stiff as a plank. <laughs> He's got a lot at stake, too. <laughs> you know, plank steak. Hey, well. <laughs> Look, Elliot, I got news for you. It ain't funny. I thought it was rather droll. <laughs> hey, Alice, that Willie must have given our boy a hard time, huh? Well, he only meant it for Phil's good. Phil is getting a little heavy for his age. There it goes geez. again. There it goes again for his age. Last week, it was the same thing. You're getting old. You're falling apart. Phil... You know, I played hooky from the fifth grade to see you in Alexander's Ragtime Band. <laughs> you know that, don't you? Phil, all I said... The way you talk, you'd think I was 80 years old. A quintuplet or something. I knew that wouldn't get nothing. <laughs> and another thing... Excuse me, Philip. What'd you do now? Nothing. Then why do I have to excuse you for? I merely wish to speak to my sister, if you don't mind. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't pay any attention to old man Mose. I'll just curl up in front of the fire and count my vote for McKinley buttons. What is it, Willie? Alice, I merely wanted to tell you that I'm going shopping. Good, I'll go with you. We'll be back in a little while, Phil. Yeah, good. While you're out, see if you can pick me up some mall bath. That's pablum spelled backwards. <laughs> Tell me I'm getting older. I'm younger than any of you. And I'm getting younger all the time. Hi, Curly. Six more birthdays and I'll be back playing that sock symbol in high school. <laughs> Hiya, Curly. What are you grinning at? Oh, I'm not grinning. I was yawning and my lip got stuck. <laughs> well, unstick it, because it ain't funny. You know, Curly, I hate to say this about the woman you love, but she's right. Uh, right about what? About you. You ain't got no more muscles than a clam digger's apron. <laughs> oh, is that so? I got muscles I ain't even used yet. I got muscles I ain't never gonna use. I'll trouble you, Curly. You don't get no exercise. What are you talking about? I work, don't I? Oh, sure, but look, Curly... Clipping Alice's coupons ain't exactly a pick-and-shovel job. I use heavy scissors. <laughs> it ain't enough. You gotta lift that barge. Tote that bale. Go ahead, you're leaving out the best line. <laughs> you know, you get a little... la da 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 dee dum dum all right, wait a minute, Curly. You know what you need? Exercise. You ought to work out every day like Rocky Marciano or Kid Gavilan or Millicent Berry or... Who? Hmm? Who? Oh, Millicent Berry. Who's she? A girl I work out with from time to time. <laughs> Look, Elliot. No, I'm not kidding, Curly. You ought to do something like... Wait a minute. I got it. I know just the thing, and it won't cost you a dime. A barbell. Oh. <laughs> Barbell, huh? Yeah. You know, I've always wanted one of them things. You did? Sure. Saves you banging your knuckles on the bar when you want a refill. <laughs> Curly. Maybe I'll get a whole set. You know, they got all different kinds. Curly. They got martini barbells with a petrified olive for a clanger. <laughs> and they got them old-fashioned barbells, with or without a cherry. And Curly. Curly. You're interrupting me, Elliot. Let me dream. Look, I got a friend who works out with the weights all the time. Oh. Oh, that kind of barbell. That's right. I bet you if I call the ox, he'll be glad to lend you one. The ox? Mm -hmm. That's your friend? You ought to see him, Curly. He's built like a statue. Like a Greek god. He is, huh? A regular Adonis. And girls. <laughs> but they go nuts about him. They do, huh? <laughs> he gives his rejects to Marlon Brando. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Now. Yeah. You know, Elliot? Yeah? I have been feeling a little sluggish lately. You don't say. Maybe a little exercise would be good for me. Um, say, uh, hmm? why don't you call your friend and see if you can borrow a barbell or, or two or three? All right, I'll call him right now. In the meantime, you can work out with the orchestra. To build muscles? You can't build muscles with an orchestra. Vaughn Monroe did. Vaughn Monroe! <laughs> Go wash your mouth out with an RCA. Vaughn <laughs> Monroe, where'd you pick that up? Get out of here. Right. I'll try it once. You mean old muscle voice? All right, come in here, fellas. Let's try it. He's on. He's on. We wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little quick today, ain't you, Herman? And away now. Now go. <laughs> Peace the pudding, peace the pudding, peace the pudding hot, peace pudding hot, peace pudding cold, peace pudding in the pot, just nine days old. Well, a patty cake, a patty cake, a baker's man, you got to put it in the oven just as fast as you can. Some like it hot and some like it cold, I like it in the pot nine days old. Peace pudding hot, peace pudding cold, peace pudding in the pot. much about going to school. It was all work and no play. But when I came home about half past three, I loved to hear my mama say, Peace pudding hot, hot pudding, got the peace pudding cold, cold pudding, got the pudding in the pot, hot pudding, just nine days old, nine days old. I don't like ham, I don't like greens, if I get out of this by no means. Peace pudding hot, peace pudding cold, peace pudding in the pot, just nine days old. Don't want ham, I don't want peas. There's only one dish that pops for sin. This beast wouldn't hide. At the pot, pot, pudding. Beast wouldn't go. Go, 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 pudding. Beast wouldn't in the pot. At the pot, pot, pudding. Just nine days old. Just nine days old. Mama said, son, here's 15 cents. Go watch that elephant jump the fence. He jumped, jumped so high, he started to fly. We didn't get back till the 4th of July. Beast wouldn't hide. At the pot, pot, pudding. Beast wouldn't go. Go, 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 pudding. Beast wouldn't in the pot. At the pot, pot, pudding. Just nine days old. Just nine days old. Shelley, here's the ox with his tremendous torso. <laughs> hey, Curly, this is the ox. Yeah. Oxy, this is Curly. Yeah. Glad to know you, Oxy boy. You want to shake hands with me? You'll have to reach down. I don't bend so good. <laughs> what I tell you, Curly? Pure muscle. Yeah, solid. Yeah, yeah solid. Hey, Oxy, uh, you didn't forget to bring the barbell, did you? Forget it. What do you think this is under my arm? May West? <laughs> <laughs> He's a kid, huh, Ellie? <laughs> That's the barbell, Curly. Boy, it's a big one, ain't it? Must weigh 300 pounds. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? kidding? No, I kidding you. What does that thing weigh, Oxy? Oh, this will go easy. 350 uh, and a couple of odd ounces. See? Look, I got to go home and rinse out a few things. Where do you want the barbell? Oh, just uh, toss it over here. Toss it? Okay. <laughs> I wonder if Alice is going to like a sunken living room. <laughs> Oxy, what did you do that for? Because you asked for it. <laughs> Thank you, Ox Baker. Tomorrow, if you want, I'll bring a bigger no, one. No, 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 Oxy. This is going to be fine. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, fellas. I'll be seeing you. 
What's your hurry, Ox? You heard of Shelley, you heard of Keats. Goodbye, sad world. The Ox retreats. <laughs> Hey, hmm? he's a nice guy. Yeah. What's he do? Drives a good humor wagon. <laughs> it figures. Mm-hmm. Well, I listen to you again, Elliot. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to do, just listen to you. Now, what are we going to do about that hole in the floor? Same as last time. Cover it with a rug. <laughs> you can't do that. Alice will find out. Not until somebody falls through. All right, all right, go ahead. You get a rug and I'll lift the barbell. Right. Okay, Philip, you might as well start now. Just get a good hold on this thing, and then... Uh, and this pull. Uh. Hey, Elliot. Yeah, Curly? I'll get the rug. You lift the barbell. <laughs> oh, come on. It can't be that heavy, Curly. Come on. You take one, and I'll take the other. You ready? Yeah. Lift. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why don't we both get the rug? <laughs> We got to get this thing out of here before Alice sees it. Now let's move it. With what? With what? I asked you first. Elliot, there's got to be some way. Hey, hmm? if we can only find a crowbar or something to shove underneath. Yeah, and... but where are we going to find a crowbar or something to shove underneath? Anybody home? I brought the groceries. Shirley. <laughs> Our little crow bait. <laughs> I brought everything but the corn. I figured you guys had enough of that. <laughs> Come here, Julius. I don't want it. Nobody's going to hurt you, Julius, boy. I don't know. Every time you two guys get me alone, I'm safer behind the iron curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a nice thing to say after Mr. Harris was going to give you this beautiful barbell for a Christmas present? In October? <laughs> <laughs> Well, kid, um, you, um, you see, um, uh, well, that way I get to uh, deduct it from my income tax. You can deduct the barbell? Naturally. Everybody knows that. You lift the barbell, and where is it? Overhead. <laughs> <laughs> A deductible item, if ever I heard one. <laughs> nice thinking, Curly. You ought to do my taxes next year, huh? Well, Julius, if you want it, she's yours. Just pick it up and trot on home with it. Go ahead, kid. What are you waiting for? It's me instinct of self-preservation. Whenever me short hairs stand up on end and me ears begin twitching and me spine begins arching up, somehow I get suspicious. (laughs) Oh, that's fine. That's fine. You hear that, Elliot? He don't trust us. I can't understand it. Okay, if you want to act that way, we'll just have to keep it ourselves. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'll take it. Well, now you're talking. Okay, Julius, lay down. You know, this ain't just an ordinary barbell. It's for developing stomach muscles. Yeah, and it only works when you're flat on your back. Okay, kid, what are you waiting for? It's them short hairs. They're standing up again. (laughs) Julius, tell them to lay down. And you lay down with them. I don't know. Why do I get myself into things like this? Okay, so I'm down. Now what? Okay, give me a hand, Elliot. We'll just roll this barrel over on top of them. Wait a minute! Okay, here we go. All right, heave it. Hey, this thing is heavy! Okay, Julius. Stand up and take it home. Are you kidding? I can't move. My poor little chest feels like it's touching me back. I got news for you, it is. Curly, we better get him out. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, let's do it together. Come on. Right. One, one, two, two, two. three. There you go. You know what, Curly? It's stuck. Yeah, I know. Now what do we do? I don't know. Fellas! Maybe we feed him a couple of hundred cakes of yeast. <laughs> then he swells up and the barbell slides off. Sounds logical. I won't eat him! Never, never, never! Get me out of here! Get me out, will you? You know, Curly, there's only one way to get this thing off. We rent ourselves a Derrick. Yeah. Hey, a Derrick, huh? A Derrick. Hey, how's that sound to you, Julius? I'm saving all my testimony for the DA. <laughs> Ooh, them pains. What's the way that kid's acting, Elliot? You know, mm-hmm. something I think he's getting balmy. Everything's turning.
white and black. I'm floating around in the sky. A beautiful angel is singing. You hear anything, Curly? I don't know. Gee, such beautiful music. A song of love is a sad song. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lo. A song of love is a song of woe. Don't ask me how I know. A song of love is a sad song. For I have loved and it's so. I sit by the window and watch the rain. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lo. Tomorrow I'll probably love again. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lo. A song of love is a sad song. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lo. A song of love is a song of woe. Don't ask me how I know. A song of love is a sad song. For I have loved and I know. I sit by the window and watch the rain. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lo. Tomorrow I'll probably love again. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lo. What? The music. Will you forget about it, Julius? Forget about it. There they ain't been no music. But I heard... Look, it's that barbell on your chest. That's what's doing it. The whole thing is an obstacle delusion. <laughs> but, Mr. Harris, Look, I heard... Look, Julius, Julius, will you just keep quiet now and wait till Elliot gets back with the Derrick and we'll get you fixed up and nothing flat. That's what I'm beginning to feel like. <laughs> nothing flat. There he is. He's back. Hey, Elliot, did you get it? You said it. The finest drive yourself, Derek, in town. <laughs> hey, do you hear that, Junius? The finest Derek in town. I wish I was dead. <laughs> That's what happened, too. Okay, Elliot. <laughs> You're out of running all now, huh? You betcha. Okay, now listen to me. You got it all set? Yep. All right, now just lower the boom and then swing it through the window. Roger, here we go. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I thought the window was open. <laughs> Did I break it bad? No, you broke it good. <laughs> oh, Alice is going to kill me. Well, that's why they put erasers on Derek's. <laughs> Let's try it again, eh? Okay, now take it easy, will you? Yeah, okay, here we All go. Right, uh... Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, keep it going, Elliot. Keep it going. Raise it a little. Raise it a little. A little more. A little more. 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 Raise that. Raise that. A little. <laughs> now look what you did. You broke the other window. You have something, Curly? I just found out what's wrong. I'm a lefty. This is a right-handed Derek. <laughs> Oh, what am I going to tell Alice? She's going to murder me. There's two more windows, Curly, and I'll have this thing down pat. We got two more windows. <laughs> Elliot, will you please take it easy? Now move it back a little. Move it back. Okay. Contact! That's it. Okay, now. Huh? Now you're doing it. Okay. Up a little. Up a little. That's it. Uh, That's no, it. Elliot. Stop. Elliot. Elliot. Stop! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Something wrong, Curly? I said up a little. Too far up, huh? What am I going to do without a front door? <laughs> well, you haven't had an open house for a long time. Mr. <laughs> Harris, please get me out of here. Me lettuce is welcome. You stay out of here. Got enough trouble without you, Elliot. Yeah. Fine, be more careful, will you? Okay, Curly. I think I got it now. I'll swing it in through the window like I wasn't even there. I got news for you, it ain't. <laughs> now, look, Elliot. Yes, sir? Just swing it. Just 
Swing it right into the room. Okay, here we go. boy. Swing it right in the room. Right in there. That's it. Swing it right in. Elliot, get it out of the corner. You're bouncing against the wall. I know, but man, dig that crazy beat. Stop that. Will you stop that? Curly. You gotta stop screaming like that. You're gonna get ulcered. <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> yes, Curly. Take it over to Julius. You ain't gonna get that thing near me. What are you worrying about? It's only a Derek. Only a Derek, he says. I think when a dentist punch a drill at me and he tells me it's only a Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be still? Okay, Elliot. Bring it down. Okay. Is that enough? That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. Hold it. All Hold right. it. I just got to hook it out of this barbell. Please, Mr. Harris, take that thing away. Let me stay under the barbell. I'm happy here. Believe. <laughs> Will you please keep out of this? Okay, Elliot. It's all hooked up. Now okay. Look, this time, just take it right straight up. Right huh? straight up, okay. Right up. Atta boy. Atta boy. Straight up. Straight up. Okay, hold it. Now you got it. Okay. You got it. Hold it right up there. Okay, Julius, you can get up now. You're loose. Julius. Julius, where are you? Where am I? Oh, that's rich. <laughs> Get down off of Mike's ceiling. You're getting spots on it. Help! Oh, Mayor, please! Elliot, let him down. Okay. Okay, Curly. Look what you've done. You wrecked my whole piano. Where's Julius? I would say somewhere between Middle C and the basement. <laughs> Oh, Liberace. <laughs> Who? What are these things? Yeah, Julius has given his invitation to Sophie Tucker. It's great in here, honey. <laughs> Alex and Phil will be back in just a moment. Lady, are you caught in the kitchen traffic jam when you serve a big meal? Must you choose between cold biscuits and a cold roast? Well, you know, the new RCA estate range serves you a problem of getting everything at once. You can serve everything, meat, biscuits, vegetables, sauces, coffee, steaming hot at their peak of savory perfection. The barbecue or meat oven for charcoal done flavor, the hideaway grid oil for top of range grilling, the big balanced heat bake oven, dependable performance, easy operation. The new, the wonderful, the sensational RCA estate gas and electric ranges. At your dealers now. This is Phil again. On Tuesday, October the 20th, I'll be in Cleveland, Bob Hope's hometown, to appear with Bob on his first television show of the season. Give us a look in, huh? Good night. Good night, everybody. Included in this program, transcribed with Alan Reed, the part of Julius was played by Walter Tetley. This has been an NBC Radio Network production.